I speak as a mother, as a mother of a girl child. It is sad. As women, we are very few in this house, only 21. Our positions in this government, they are few. And I want to say and urge, in the event, Madam Governor, you get a chance to go and work for the people of Meru. I challenge you and ask you and request you, bring your house in order. Because as a leader, it is not the members of parliament you will work with. It is these MCAs who have to pass your budget. It worries. If then you cannot work with them, then the budgets will not be passed. Developments will not be done. Services will not be rendered. It will be unfair for the people. If this house decides that it will be a sad affair, the worst to happen, it will be sad because we'll be, have reduced from seven to six governors. So I request you, I urge you, that with whatever results that shall be there, we try as leaders to ensure that we try and work together because without working with these MCAs, there is no opportunity. I worked with you last time up there, and that is why all the time you'll find that the cameras, the gazettes, will always have my point. Senator Faki. Asante mwishimu wa speaker kwa kunipa fursa hii kuchangia mjadala huu muhimu ambao kumbele yetu. Kwanza na pongeza pande zote mbili. Pande ya assembly na pande ya governor kwa kuja bunge la senate kujaribu kutatua matatizo yao. Na upande wa wote wa muzi utakotoka hapa ni kwamba hakuna upande ambao utakua umeshinda. Ni kwamba wa muzi utakotoka hapa utakua ni wa muzi wa bunge ambao lazima tuukubali na vile vile pia utekeleze kama itakavu kubalika. Mwishima speaker, sisi kama wa islamu tuasema kosa moja haliachi mke. Haliachi bibi, kosa moja haliachi bibi. Na tunasema pia kwamba talaka ni mara tatu. Uneza kumpa bibi talaka akenda akarudi, kampa ya pili akenda akarudi, ya tatu ndo wei nakuwa ya mwisho. Kwa mwishima speaker, governor Kawira alikuja hapa mara ya kwanza a, a, mwaka jana nafikiri, na talaka haikuweza kupita. Kwa mwishima speaker, ana fursa nyingine kuja hapa, kuja kuangalia ni vipi ambao tatukia matuzu yake. Mwishima speaker ni kwamba ni masikitiko kwamba ushahidi uleotolewa haukuweza kuthibitisha makosa ambao ya medaiwa kufanyika na governor Kawira. Mwishima speaker tukiangalia makosa yote ambao ya mezungumziwa hapa na ushahidi uleoletwa haukuweza kufikia kiwango ambacho kimewekwa na mahakama ya upeo kabisa yani Supreme Court katika kuangalia maswala kama haya. Kwa mwishima speaker itakuwa ni dhulma kubwa kuweza kumpeleka nyumbani governor Kawira kwa ushahidi ambao haukufikia kiwango unachoitajika na mahakama. Mwishima speaker, uamuzu takofanya usikuwa leo, hautasaidia hale matatizo ambao ya koembu. Meru samani. Na nijukumu la viongozi ambao ya mchaguliwa wote. Kuakikisha kwa matatizo hili, wameza kulitatua wao kama viongozi wa meru. Kwa sababu matatizo ya meru, haezu kutatuliwa na viongozi wa kutoka Isiolo, haezu kuchaguliwa na viongozi wa kutoka Mombasa, wala viongozi kutoka semo yote isipokuwa watu wa meru wenye wakaichini waangalie matatizo haya waweze kuamua ili watu wa meru waweze kupata maendeleo kama ilivyo tarajiwa na katiba yetu wa mwaka mbili na, na, na kumi kwa hivyo mshima speaker kwa kumalizia ni kwamba tumepata fursa ya kujua matatizo ya meru na fursa hii ni fursa ambayo iko katika kaunti zetu zote ambazo uh, tukonazo katika nchi yetu ya Kenya na isiwe kwamba wakitoka hapa mmoja amesema mimi nimeshinda la watakokuwa wameshinda ni watu wa Meru kupata uongozi na kupata viongozi ambao watasaidia kupeleka kaunti ya Meru mbele asante sana mheshimiwa speaker senator metho uh, thank you very much uh, mr speaker for giving me an opportunity to speak to this motion honorable speaker this evening i've been called upon to make a very difficult decision a decision that uh, if isn't governor kawera home then Hagaria comes to a grinding halt. 
honorable speaker as it has been said the threshold of an impeachment has been set in article 181 of the constitution of kenya it has also been very well spelled out in the uh, precedents that have been set in the decision of the high court in the wambora case and in the decision of the uh, court of appeal in the wambora case, uh, case honorable speaker well, I thank the county assembly for, uh, uh, because it is within their uh, functions to process an impeachment. When I looked at uh, the charges that have been placed against the governor of Meru, uh, Honorable Speaker, as a person who sits in the Public Accounts Committee, I looked at the evidence that was adduced in charge number one, misappropriation and misuse of county resources. And Honorable Speaker, as a member who sits in that, uh, in that committee, we all agree that an infamous extract cannot become evidence as to why and how the governor of Meru is corrupt on this particular charge, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, on the charge number two, on nepotism and unrelated ethical practices, when the council and the team from the county assembly was, put, was called upon to come and uh, uh, give evidence in chief as to how the governor of Meru is a nepotistic Honorable Speaker, they told us that uh, it is public knowledge that the people that are in, that in those photos are her relatives, Honorable Speaker. So, Honorable Speaker, how am I supposed to know that uh, you know, a person that appears in a photo is a relative of uh, Senator Olekina, is my own relative? Many people have said that the person who was playing guitar on this, on this video looks like myself. How am I not... Uh, <laughs> how, Mr. Speaker, <laughs> is it that uh, finally, Honorable Speaker, on charge number three, on bullying, vacation, and demeaning of other leaders, Honorable Speaker, the evidence that was brought by the county assembly was of a man playing guitar here, singing when, when Yawivu Wajinyonge. You know, that was the accusation that uh, uh, the Governor Kawira demeans other leaders. On the contrary, Honorable Speaker, the video that was played by the defense of the Governor, Honorable Speaker, it printed an image of a patriarchal community, you know, deep, painful, Images that I would never want. My own children, my own wife. Honorable Speaker, that is not the society that we would want for our daughters, Honorable Speaker. It is not a mistake for anybody to become a leader and she is a woman, Honorable Speaker. It is not a mistake, Honorable Speaker. And this is not the way that we can encourage our girls to become a, a, a leaders, Honorable Speaker. That when you are a leader, if you disagree with the other people, they use sexuality to harass you, Honorable Speaker. Now, Honorable Senators, at this juncture, I will call the governor. Governor Kawira, you have 10 minutes to address the Senate. The order, order, honorable senators, order. Honorable Kawira, you can take the stand. You have 10 minutes. Order, order, honorable senators.